Hi, uh, I thought I'd do a YouTube video on the Jones's Shipman because of the lack of information on it. I wanted to buy one of these uh, machines and look round and there's very little information on the 540 or the 1400. Uh, nobody tells you how they work, nobody tells you what they do, they just simply seem to want to show you pictures of the bedway flying backwards and forwards which isn't actually very informative. So uh, that's the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, i also like to say thanks to a guy called Don Bailey from Suburban Tools. He's all over YouTube. Uh, many fantastic tips. If you don't know anything about grinding, you want to get into grinding, you know, do check out his stuff. Uh, it inspired me to uh, get into grinding. Uh, it's a very interesting part of engineering. So uh, basically I'm going to show you the controls uh, and uh, the oil points and things like that just to give you a sort of rounded idea of what it is you're getting into. Okay, we'll start off with the obvious. Uh, here we have the handle which takes the bed weight left and right. It's two positional comes out and spins freely. It goes in and this allows you to move the bedway. When you're on automatic make sure that this is free spinning because uh, that will come round at quite a rate of knots and uh, you don't want to get caught in the hip bite. This is your wire travel. Bedway uh, in and out backwards and forwards. Down here with the Z, rise and fall. By the way this is uh, a 540A. Uh, if you see 540H that means it's hand driven only, it's not automatic. If it's P, in here is a, uh, a lever for power rise and fall so you don't have to keep winding the wheel. They also do an L which means that the column here is extended height. This is the normal one which is an A. So the sensible place to start really would be to turn it on. I'm not going to because I don't want the electrics on. I've got a converter and it's a bit noisy in the background. Quite simple. Over here is uh, an isolator switch. Turn it on. Then we have a bank of three switches. This one is the hydraulic motor. Turn that one on just to get everything rock and rolling. This is the suds pump and this turns on the wheel head. The switches to turn on are underneath. You press upwards. You can't see anything. You just put your finger in, push it up and off you go. When you uh, turn this machine on, don't touch anything for 30 seconds. So when the hydraulic's on, just let it rock and roll. Allow the air to, to get through the system. Right, that's what it says in the book. Uh, hydraulic fluid, yes, that might be interesting. Down here is the opening for your tank. That takes 18 litres of slideway and hydraulic oil. It's a, it's a mix. Uh, because the bedway constantly moves on oil. It's not like many machines where you have to keep on punching buttons to push oil through. This is continuously fed. Okay, let's get on to the uh, wire travel. Normal thing, turn the handle, bedway goes in and out, backwards and forwards, as you like. But the Jones and Shipman has an auto increment. So as the table goes left and right, it will auto increment forwards, 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 or backwards, backwards, backwards. And it's done with this knob here. If you turn this knob to the left, the bed will head towards the wheel head. If you turn it to the right, it will come towards you. 
the increments are controlled by this little gadget here. You pull this box down and there's a flat there for a spanner. Under it, move it this way for small increments. The smallest is 7 thou. Move it in that direction for the largest increment, which is 70 thou. It only needs a nip. If you do this up tight, it can be a little bit of a what's it to uh, undo again. So that's how that works. I usually work at about 20 thou. Now, down the bottom here is this little knob. Turn that on, give it a bit of a lock, and this engages an auto, uh, sorry, a manual increment, fine increment feed for the bedway. Very handy little gadget. However, make sure you do not turn this handle with this locked. You've got to unlock it to turn the handle. Likewise with this. If this is engaged to the right, or to the left, do not use the handle to turn. You can only use it when it's in the out position. This little knob here simply uh, locks up the the uh, uh, the dial. So that's basically that. Uh, second. Okay, now we get on to the uh, rise and fall. It's quite simple. There is a knob here, and you can see that it pulls in and out. If it's in, you can't turn. You shouldn't turn the handle. You've got to take it out and then move the handle to go up and down. The idea of this knob is to sort of, it's, a, a, it's not a fine feed exactly because it works at the same ratio, gear ratio as this. It just allows you to do one step at a time. I don't know if this camera will pick it up. Click, click. And it, this one's good because it's got a ball bearing in it and you can actually hear the clicks. Some of them haven't, they're silent, as, and you, so you just have to watch the dial. Uh, that's it for the uh, rise and fall. Alright, now we get on to the, uh, the main controls here. This lever, you don't need to touch. That is simply the actuator for the dogs. I've got my dogs extended right out at the moment because the last thing I did was this chuck. This, whoops, <laughs> this is in the off position to actuate X to go left and right. This little jobby is the one that activates the Y going backwards and forwards as such. This is off. If at some time you want to stop grinding, you press that and the machine will turn off, the bed will go along and it will come back and it will always rest over on the right hand side. The other job that this does is to actuate, I don't know if we've got enough light, yes we have, the dogs for, for the Y axis. Again, they're at their extreme. Uh, they're not very accurate. Don't try and set them up for, uh, you know, uh, stopping the machine at sort of, you know, 20 thou, because uh, you could get yourself into trouble. <laughs> now, when you press this down, you can't engage this lever. If you do, nothing happens. So what you do, you take this lever and you press it down. It's quite, mine's quite stiff. 
and that re-engages this and allows you to use the bedway uh, control. Uh, just a quick one on uh, uh, oil nipples. One in the middle, one on the side. One back here, this one's a bit iffy, there's another one here, at the top, there, and this is going to be a bit difficult because there's no light, right round the back, no there's no light, it's over the, if you look at the stud hole, for the machine mount it's directly above that there's another oil nipple there these are not grease guys <coughs> hopefully you don't find anybody who's put grease in these things uh, this machine has a, a, a sort of added extra which is uh, an auto dresser well it's not auto it's manual but it's very handy, uh, you, you've got an increment of uh, one thou, uh, actually it's half thou, feed down to dress the wheel. The only problem with it is that the uh, you can't use normal diamonds. They made something for this where the diamond's very small, uh, so you've got to cut the uh, metal down to get, get it to fit in if you're using a seven inch wheel. That makes sense if ever you get your hands on one. But it's a very handy job to have. Okay. Uh, one little thing, uh, at least every week, make sure that you uh, move the bedway full length. Give it, give, give it a good travel. Uh, it, it just keeps the old girl in sound condition. It says it in the manual and it makes sense because very often we only work from the middle or to the side and it, uh, it causes wear, uh, which is expensive of course, ridiculous. Uh, there is one other point of caution I'd like to make, which is work. Uh, I'm just going to put this on. Okay, this this is this is this is uh, uh, a parallel that I made. There's nothing wrong with it. It's it's down to about a tenth all round. But uh, very often people on YouTube, you know, put down a piece of metal and go, yeah, there you go. Off you go, grind that. Please, guys, don't do it. Right? Map out your piece of metal on a uh, surface plate. What you need to do is, if, if you're grinding at the back end, make sure that this is the high side and this is the low side. Whatever you do, make sure that this isn't the low side. And as you grind in, you start grinding into the high side of, of your job. Uh, it's, it's one of those things that people forget to mention uh, and to be quite honest all sorts of horrible things will happen you'll, you'll burn the job out, the wheel, everything it's, it's uh, very unwise <laughs>